Hey there. Hey, my name's Tyler. Um, I just got these things from Orbit. Uh, this is the professional mist kit. So, um, I've been trying to uh, make my backyard a little bit more uh, pleasant. Um, I live in Las Vegas, it's really hot here. Um, and I have another video where I put turf in my backyard and turf is really, really hot. So, um, you know, half the time I can't even get, go in my backyard because the turf is too hot. So um, I kind of rigged up the system that I'll show you in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to put this misting system on it and see if I can get my backyard to cool. Um, actually, to uh, my goal is this 20 degrees cooler. It says right there I can make it 20 degrees cooler. So we're going to see if that's, uh, that's possible. So today I'm going to kind of show you... Uh, what's in the box, what comes in the box, and then kind of my application for it in my backyard, and then we'll, uh, we'll see if it really works as good as it says, so. Here is the scanner thing for the uh, tutorial video. It says for your warranty, that's pretty cool. So, let's open it up. Okay, so. We got one, two, three, four, five, six two foot sections. Uh, I believe this is 10 feet of just flexible tubing that you can use. Um, instructions, instructions, and here's all the uh, misting part of it. So, yeah, it looks like you just, I mean, you stick the end in there like that. Not going to do it yet because I don't know how easy it is to get out. Um, so we got six, seven of those. That looks like an end plug. This is the end. Cap that has a mister on it. And this is the part that uh, hooks onto the spigot. These are all the things if you're going to attach it to wood or your house or whatever. Um, but I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. All right, so here's what I've got going here. So I've actually put in a hook onto my house and strung some steel cable back to the back wall over there. So um, I've hung a shade on it already, as you can see. Um, but my plan is to start over here where I have, I've anchored it down here. I have this thing here that helps me, you know, tighten it to whatever I want. Now right here, I have um, a hose spigot and I plan on just teeing off of that, coming straight up to here and then uh, stringing it up that. And then when I get up to there, I'm gonna turn and go down that one. Well, that's pretty easy. So I got this high flow, it says high flow splitter, uh, just so I can get as much flow as possible uh, to this. And I, I actually have a, a soaker hose connected as well. So um, anyway, I'll put that on. So I just have these zip ties that I'm gonna I'm gonna use to connect it to this wire.
I just put them up, so I'm at about I'm about to test them out. Uh, so here goes nothing. Ooh. All right, so, so far it's, uh, it's working. Oh man, it actually feels pretty good. Wow. It's kind of windy, so it's kind of going all over the place, but. Oh. Yeah, I think I could, I think I can handle this. Yeah. All right, so. Let me walk you through what I did. So I put, I just started here at the wall. See, you can't really, here's the wall. So I went up, okay, just every two feet. Uh, I use zip ties all the way up, okay. And then here, instead of going right up to the house, you can't see it. Instead of going right up to the house, I used the last one there. And then I used another, one of the beginning 10 footers and wrapped around that, and then I started again there, and then I went down, and then I almost made it to the wall, um, but, you know, kind of went over the pool, but not much, so I can handle that. So, I officially have the, the misting system set up. I went through, put more zip ties on it, made it look a little bit better. Now, um, it's kind of hot today, so, I am going to do a little temperature test here. So you can see my little triangle there on the ground. Uh, I'm gonna use a little heat gun. Uh, I don't actually know how accurate these are. I mean, I think sometimes the readings are off, but I'm gonna use it anyway. I'm gonna do that one. I have one in the shade right here. Um, and then I have, I got another one over here behind the little pool. Um, and then also to do the air temperature, I have this little thermometer sitting here on the table and then I have a meat probe hanging here so between the five of those I'm hoping that we can get good good temperature readings and um, we'll just go from that all right so it has officially been 30 minutes so I'm just gonna do the last test and then we'll go uh, graph it on Excel or something space number one 126, space number two. 72, 73, space number three. One, 145, 84.9, so I'm gonna say 85. It says 94. All right, so here is the graph of the temperature tests that I have done. Um, as you can see, they're mostly trending downward um, if you want to spend some more time on this maybe pause the video um, and then here is a table showing the maximum change and the average change over actually not the average change the beginning and ending change after 30 minutes um, <clears throat> I think what caused that big jump on the left there is that the grass got wet or the turf got wet and it um, kind of dropped drastically for that that little uh few minutes um, so it's officially been two weeks since I've had the system up and uh, we love it I mean we, we use it every every time we come out here almost um, especially during the day when when my daughter and my the little kids come out here we turn it on and and it really cools down the backyard um, my thoughts are that it is super super simple to install like I mean snapping the things together I mean, you can't beat it. So easy. Uh, what takes the time is to attach it to something. So, like my zip tying uh, took way longer than just snapping the stuff together. Um, probably the the hooks, if you were to hammer them in, would probably take longer than putting the, the system together. But overall, way easy and totally worth it. Because, um, I mean, just like all, all the temperature tests I've been doing, I, I try to at least test it once every, every time I'm out here. But... Um, every time it's a little cooler with them on so it's working and um, so I 
it's just awesome. I mean, it feels cooler when you're out here um, on your skin, and it just cools down the backyard. I think I want to uh, I want to get some to cover that corner of the yard, and then this corner of the yard as well, because I don't I don't have any with just that that V shape that I that I did. Um, I also have uh, put a a water filter on the hose and it's just a it's just an RV filter that I got from Amazon uh, it was cheap it was like 16 bucks um, but it, that should help with the hard water and if the nozzles start to uh, clog because apparently I've heard um, that a lot of people here in Las Vegas they get misting systems but they don't last very long because the water is so hard that it clogs all the nozzles and so I'm trying to avoid that by having this RV filter and so far it works it doesn't hinder um, the pressure or anything but I think uh, at some time I'm gonna try to get the booster pump um, to kind of make it really pressurized through there and and make the mist you know really really good so um, if I do that I'll make another video about it and uh, but until then thanks for watching and uh, I'm saying that this is a buyer for sure if you're thinking about it get it also go check the links down below um, I put a link for all the stuff that I used um, nice and easy just click on it go over to Amazon and if, uh, if you want to help me out buy some